Um, today we'll be looking at um, uh, it's a small part of uh, data engineering role uh, within data science. Uh, so which is uh, how to copy objects between S3 folders, S3 uh, buckets in using Lambda. So how to copy objects between uh, S3, uh, AWS S3 buckets using Lambda function. So some of the services we'll be using uh, using our uh, S3 bucket uh, IAM role, we'll be creating IAM role, then uh, using Node.js to create um, a Lambda function. Uh, so further ado, let's, uh, uh, let us uh, start uh, doing. So first thing we'll be doing is uh, uh, creating uh, an IAM role, uh, identity access management role, then we'll apply that role to a policy or you can create policy and apply that role either way yeah, that works then we'll create a lambda function <coughs> so uh, first thing uh, let's have a look at uh, s3 uh, bucket so I've got uh, two bucket one is uh, to bucket uh, and one is from bucket so within in from bucket I've got a um, uh, Excel file so I'll, what, what I would like to do is I'd like to uh, move uh, this Excel file into uh, two bucket file. So currently this is empty. So let's try and uh, create a Lambda function. So first step, as uh, as we discussed earlier, so first step is to uh, to create a uh, uh, IMA role. So I am in IMA console. So it's from services. So the very first step is to create a uh, policy. So create policy within that uh, you'll see some of the tabs like JSON. And so in the JSON uh, uh, code, we need to add a piece of uh, JSON code. Uh, what it does is um, it kind of uh, so it's kind of a placeholder. Uh, so it will uh, hold your uh, from uh, um, uh, folder and uh, to the folder so the, the folder you are uh, copying from and uh, co copying it to folder destination so it kind of a variable is kind of holding those information for you to access when it comes to uh, lambda so let's go to our source bucket uh, uh, name so again this is ja uh, json format this is how make sure there's no space uh, in front of otherwise it won't work Java uh, JSON does not allow uh, space. So let's go back to our uh, S3 bucket and see what's our source uh, bucket name. Uh, I think the source bucket name is from. So you can just take that, copy, <coughs> and paste it here. Just remove that by. And the uh, destination is bucket 05 uh, and your destination and the source bucket name is that so this is it for um, for the policy click review policy and you can uh, name the policy so I want to name this policy as uh, a very simple policy name um, so I would say uh, copy um, files with, uh, I'll say files between uh, If that makes sense. Uh, remember what we have called this uh, um, uh, policy. I'm just gonna provide a bit of description and create the policy. I'll just take a copy of this. I'll we'll create another, not another. We'll create a, a role using the same name, so it's, uh, it's uh, it makes more sense. So you can easily relate. Um, so to check, <coughs> let's go and say, <coughs> excuse me, so you can see uh, 
uh, the um, policy we have created is already here. So next, next thing is to create a role. So click role and create role. Uh, and we want to use uh, lambda function. Click next permission. Under the uh, uh, policy filter, uh, filter for the uh, um, policy we've created, which is copy files between folders, we've created that. Uh, create a tag, say name, um, say copy files between, between folders, click review and name that. Uh, copy files between folders. Uh, create role now so keep everything as default so you can see there's the uh, so copy so you can see there's there's our role uh, so they so we've created uh, <coughs> three things we did so first thing we checked uh, our s3 buckets so we've got uh, uh, source um, uh, folder or bucket and the destination bucket. That's the first thing. Second thing, we created a policy which holds like a placeholder which has uh, the um, uh, destination and the source uh, bucket name. And the third thing we did was to create a role which relates to the policy which we had created. So now let's use this uh, role <coughs> to create a lambda function. So under, under services, uh, lambda is here in compute uh, and say uh, create a function. Uh, we want to create a uh, uh, <coughs> function from scratch. Um, so you can, you can use predefined functions and um, alter, uh, edit according to your need, uh, tailor-made. Um, you can see Kinesis uh, Firehose and Alexa skills, Ale uh, Kinesis Firehose system logs, so on and so forth. But we want to use uh, a um, Lambda function from scratch. I'll uh, name saying copy filter between folders. Um, when I was creating my um, uh, fun uh, function lambda function before when I created it, uh, using Node.js eight point one zero, it gave me some some kind of error. Probably it's not compatible. So uh, and then I went into uh, um, choose six point one. Uh, then it it, it worked. Um, so here, uh, remember the role we created was uh, copy between uh, folders. Create a function. Um, create a function. So this creates a nice little kind of a, a designer uh, mode, uh, which has a bit of uh, Node.js uh, JavaScript um, uh, Notepad. You can add your code, so on and so forth. So again, here we need to go and get our uh, source bucket, destination bucket, and the object name. So our source, uh, so this is uh, destination bucket. So we'll go and add it that destination bucket here. And remove the T at the end. Then the um, uh, from bucket. The uh, it's file name. Oops, I didn't mean to click. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so that copy the so again. So that's our. Uh, test uh, source bucket and that is our file the object itself so if you see like a hierarchical so you need from s3 which bucket and within bucket uh, what object it is you want to copy 
So this is what it's specifically saying, copy this uh, file. So if you have a multiple uh, files, you could say var, var source object equals file 2, file 3, file 4, so and so forth. Uh, so that's uh, that's done. Let's try and uh, save uh, this uh, uh, function and let's try and test. So in to give uh, a test, like test version, just to test variables. Uh, save that and now test again. Uh, so currently, currently. Uh, there was no object in uh, two buckets, uh, so you can see already in that. So if you if I was to uh, so in the in the two bucket we are we have uh, a file because we run we just run uh, the uh, uh, lambda function. So if you have to remove this, let's try and remove and say just to prove a point. Uh, delete uh, file. So uh, two bucket there is no file. Uh, in from bucket there is a file so we want to move uh, we want to copy this file into uh, uh, to bucket so all you have to do is just run the bucket sorry the uh, lambda function <coughs> and, at, and at the top uh, it says like it succeeded so like try and refresh it will uh, have the file so today we have learned uh, how to use uh, a lambda function to copy uh, uh, files between uh, uh, S3 buckets. So hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial uh, and uh, do uh, send me your feedback. Um, so and uh, thank you very much for uh, um, logging into my uh, uh, site and uh, thank you very much. Uh, have a nice uh, day. Thank you. Bye.